Hi, I'm Mary Beth Mills, Development Coordinator for Restoration Housing. We're at the end of this installment of our Architectural Minute series where we've been taking a look at what it takes to fulfill our mission in celebration of our 10th anniversary. In our final segment, People. Usually before the paint has dried and the ribbon is cut, we've been on the hunt for the right family to inhabit the walls of our newly rehabbed units. We often seek out limited income families, couples, and individuals who qualify for HUD's housing choice vouchers. With this combination of support, families are much more secure in all aspects of their lives, keeping them from making cost burden decisions. These are hardworking families that are struggling to make ends meet. Housing costs that exceed 30% of a family's income, regardless of income bracket, are considered unaffordable. This often means making tough decisions on how to allocate remaining resources towards healthy food, safe transportation, and medical care. And for families in the lowest income bracket with far fewer resources than the average citizen, housing can exceed 50% of their income and are often unsafe and substandard. It is our hope that with our property's affordable rents, that limited income families can live with dignity and hope. Most of Restoration Housing's properties have received funding that requires all tenants to be income verified. Therefore, our organization not only performs typical background checks, but also confirms that the potential tenants have limited incomes and are in need of affordable housing. We also must prove that our rents will not exceed 30% of their income so that they can remain safely housed. Many of our supporters don't realize that the end of construction is just the beginning of our work. It is our responsibility to be a reliable and responsive landlord to our tenants and good stewards of our properties. We must be vigilant with catching issues early, whether it is a struggling tenant that needs help connecting to additional resources or the inevitable leaky roof or malfunctioning appliance that needs immediate attention. Much like the pre-development phase, this side of our work is not grant-funded, and depends on rental income and donors to maintain contingency funds for lapses in rent or unexpected expenses at each property. Without supporters like you, our work would not be possible. Support for planning, project management, funding requests, tenant relations, and maintenance are almost exclusively funded by donations. It is because of you we are celebrating 10 years, 7 projects, families helped, and meaningful new projects in the pipeline. Thank you. Mm -hmm.